uh, day in the life of a musician uh, usually starts out for me I get up walk my dogs I get some exercise and then um, if I have a gig that night I make sure I have everything that I need for that gig uh, usually I do that the night before uh, get your clothes ready um, <laughs> you know just plan out your day because if you have stuff to do in the day like banking or you gotta go doctor cut hair or whatever you know plan your uh, practice time and plan for your drive so if you are driving traffic you might have to leave a little bit early you know uh, for a gig uh, you know just kind of make an agenda I would say put everything on your phone in your calendar and write it down on the side on a piece of paper because that will not delete itself <laughs> so that yep so up to that gig at the gig go early set up say hi to everybody you know and then after the gig usually i make sure people that came to see me i make sure to let them know i appreciate that they came you know spend a little time talk story because uh without the people we're not then <laughs> so yep that's it very simple uh, every day is different some days you might be busy all day some days you might have nothing but you can always um you know put in a practice like uh, there's a studio um, guitarist named paul jackson jr he works eight hours a day so what that means is if he has studio work that counts towards that eight hours if he's not working, he's practicing or he's doing something to better, like a job. So you don't have to do it like that, but you know, just to show you that the best of the best are there because they take it seriously. Yeah. Okay. And uh, all this seriousness aside, you gotta have fun. So do something fun for yourself. Yep. Okay. Aloha, I'm Ellsworth, a uh, musician. So any advice I'd say first is to practice, practice, practice. But uh, when you practice, have it be focused. So don't be watching TV, running through scales. You can do that, but you can also just focus and uh, it'll, you'll get to where you want to go faster. And then you can go watch TV and not worry about playing. Uh, also, um, always take care of your health. Yeah. And then uh, have fun, make sure it's fun. Listen to a whole different types of music, different instruments, different singers, different whatever. I don't know what you pl you planning on playing or um, old, new. Uh, watch YouTube, you know, learn from whoever, whatever, tuba, saxophone, violin, drums, everything can help you. Uh, Play with as much people as you can because everyone has something to contribute. Um, ultimately, you want to get to a place where you express yourself. Uh, the other question is how do you begin to book gigs? There's uh, several ways. The, the one most people do is they get gigs from people they know. Like my very first steady gig, my girlfriend was the bartender at a restaurant. And I, that's how I started playing there. Um, you can get an agent, or you can just go talk to a manager, maybe offer one free um, performance and they can see how you do and they might book you. Um, there's also agencies that book at different venues like Kika um, Productions, Tihati Productions, um, also uh, Koi Entertainment, you know, you can call them and I would if you do you may have to provide like a demo uh, video or a demo CD um, but open mic nights you know uh, going to watch other people and maybe going up and doing a couple songs uh, so that they can see you and also how do you keep a steady gig first thing is to be dependable so come on time Come a little bit early is my advice. In fact, one time I was playing at a place called Tiki's and I would come early. And then a manager came in and he asked me, can I ask you a question? He goes, what's wrong with you? 
you always hear so early. <laughs> Most musicians come right before. And I said, because uh, that's how you be responsible. And um, I've been at that gig for 17 years. So I would recommend come on time, be nice to everybody from the bartender to the manager, to the bus boy, to whoever, the audience, uh, always be courteous because everybody's just trying to do their best. Yeah, so be on time. And also always, since you're always practicing already, I would say, you know, keep updating, changing, growing. Yeah. And uh, never be afraid to uh, go out on a limb. Yeah, so I say uh, also to um, watch other people and you can get a lot of influences by other people. All right.